Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody, welcome. I've done the uh, kit review on this and now it's time to actually build it. Now this is a kit that's just going to take you through uh, to the new year uh, just for something to do until I can get started on the group build. Right, what we're building is this little half track and this little half track is going to be pulling uh, one of these. Uh, already built it, it's a little uh, pack 38 I believe. Uh, but it's a mixture of different bits and pieces. It's all bits and pieces I had left over as you can see But uh, this will have a little tarpaulin on it and Hopefully we can get this to be pulling it on to a flatbed or something like that So enough about what we're going to do Let's have a look at the instructions and we'll get on and get okay a quick look at the instructions And I'm gonna to have to stand them up like this for the simple reason is it's that shiny paper And it doesn't matter in what position I put it in all you get is a glare So I'm gonna be building parts one two three Four five six right up to seven because there's not many bits on it at all and it's mainly the lower hull so all we've got to do is assemble the lower hull. Uh, it's very unusual for Dragon, well, Cyber Hobby, not to have one piece tub, but there you go, that's the way it goes. Wheel assembly uh, and track assembly. Now, one of the viewers did leave me a little note to say that if we actually just glue in the center of these, they actually makes it workable. So we're going to have a bash at that. Uh, not many bits really to do up to uh, number seven. Just the front steering. So what I'm going to do, uh, because it's hangout night tonight, and I will get all this done, get these tracks done, and then I shall come back to you and we'll have a little look and have a quick discussion just to see if there's any problems, which I'm hoping there isn't. So with that, I'm gonna get on and get this done. Okay, parts one, uh, step well, step one to step six, all being completed, as you can see. Uh, I have no complaints at all. Everything went together really nicely, including the tracks. Now, one of my viewers did suggest about just gluing in the center, uh, which I did, and as you can see, it makes them workable, which is brilliant. Offhand, I can't remember the, uh, viewer's name but I will put it on the bottom of the screen all in all I'm quite happy with that it's gone together really well uh, the tracks really fit nice and they got the right amount as well so all in all quite happy with that so we'll move on now we're gonna have a look at the instructions and see what we've got installed next okay back with the instructions now Eight, eight and nine, well I've already put the wheels on. There's just a couple of small bits to go on on the steering rack and that. And then we move in to putting the interior in. Uh, driver's seat, uh, what else was up? The bulkhead, steering wheel. They're all small bits and pieces right down to 12. Uh, the engine to go in as well and we've got a bit of painting to do on the inside uh, before we put these uh, side bits on. To be honest with you, I'm gonna go right the way through to 17 because they're all small bits and pieces and uh, I can get them all done and get them all painted up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crack on now. I'll go from part eight to part 17 and then I'll come back and we'll have another quick look. Okay, we're back with uh, part 8 to 17 and build wise I've got no complaints no problems everything went together really nice and surprisingly it's very very well detailed uh, for those who like detailing there is loads of detailing to be done inside now I'm not going to do too much at the moment because 
I would actually like to get the rest of it built and the top on and then I can have a little look to see what you can actually see because I'm one of these people if you're going to batten it up and close it down there's no point well my, my, my personal opinion there's no point of uh, doing all the fine detailing that you're never going to see so with that we're going to get on now with the next uh, few steps so we'll have a look at the, the instructions and we'll go from there right we're going to start well i'm going to go from 18 to 20. now these are all that like the stowage boxes and uh, like mud i think they call them you call them mud guards or fenders or wh whatever you'd like to call them that's what they are and there's quite a few bits and pieces to go on as well as the back door but if i get all these bits done that means the lower half is done and finished and the rest of it then is the upper half which i can get all assembled and dry fit it and then i can have a little peep to see what i can see with the hatches open and see what i really do need to uh, detail paint so with that i'm going to get on get this lot finished and i should come back when it's all assembled and we'll take a look Okay, the bottom half is complete. If I just do a bit of rummage, we did from 18 to 20, and that was basically all these. Uh, well, I'll get a pointy stick, so they'll be a bit, a bit more professional. Basically, it's all these uh, mud guards or fenders, and the jacks, uh, the pioneer tools, all the bits and pieces like that. Uh, the back door that went on as well uh, so now the bottom half is all complete and ready to accept the top half uh, the reason I've done it like this like I said is so I can dry fit it all and just see how how much I actually see inside so that's it so far uh, don't panic I've done a load of photographs as, as I've been going along so you can see from different angles because uh, uh, doing the video in it never is as good as a picture and I shall tag all them on uh, to the end of the video so with that let's move across to the instructions and we'll see what we've got installed next okay now I've been looking through the instructions and this really is the sort of last few bits uh, to actually get this complete now what I'm going to do I'm going to run from 21 to 28 and that's the totally as total assemble assembly even of the upper half uh, lots of little fiddly bits uh, to go on so what I'm going to do I'm going to get all that completed and then I should come back to you we'll have a look and have a quick chat before we move on to the final step okay I've done parts 21 to 28 and that is the upper half now it's only dry fitted, it's only lead there. And I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, trying to peer through that hole, you can't really see anything at all. It's a shame because there is a lot of uh, detail work in there. If we open that, it's like the radios. There's plenty of uh, detail on that. Uh, with a little bit of dry pushing, it would all come up really nice, them sort of things. Lots of detail, loads and loads. It's a very, very nicely detailed kit. And if we lift this part up, uh, get that into shot, the dashboard and all the bits and pieces, very nicely detailed. And like I say, it's a bit of a shame, but there we go. But on the other hand, uh, if I was gonna just do this piece on its own, you could actually open the back door, uh, open that hatch on there as well and then you would get a good view inside and you would see all the detailing but i'm afraid to say that's not going to happen on this one because i need this one to be actually towing uh, the flank 38 so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pick out the seats with a bit of brown i'm going to use a bit of black on the radios and on the binoculars a bit of brown on them pads at the top of the uh, hatches and another thing it this little hatch it all rotates it's very well 
very well detailed very very nice little kit so that's all I'll be doing so I'll put all that back together it does fit all nicely uh, same as that put that back in there uh, just decided not to sit in there properly but there we go so I'm going to get that all glued I'm going to get them bits painted up I'll get it all glued down and finished with I'll get the aerial put on and the lights uh, that will then will be complete then I'll come back to you we'll have a quick look with it uh, with that and the flak uh, 38 that I've got before I take it to paint a final look now I've done the aerial I have painted the bits and pieces inside which you can just about see I haven't put the lights on uh, I'm just putting some mirror paint in the back of them and I'm going to stick them on separately a bit later on but everything is done uh, I did have to run around there was a few real fine little gaps I did run around with a little bit of filler the OCD wouldn't allow me to leave them they probably would have uh, filled up with uh, the primer but hey ho but it's all done and complete and I'm extremely happy with it it was a nice little build it's a lovely little kit got no complaints the only complaints is I still got a shed load of bits left over hey ho but that's dragon for you isn't it moving around uh, the flak 38 now this is a little uh, Tamiya kit which I had in my stash but the trailer wasn't much cop so I've actually pinched one from a trumpeter 38 which is going on one of my flatbeds because I'm not going to be using the trailers so I've used the trailer on there just to make up uh, this little bit which I'm quite happy with there is going to be uh, a tarp over the actual uh, 38 and I don't know quite know what they're called but there will be the little gun uh, covers to go on the end as it's all going to be uh, on transport I will be doing them later on uh, I will do a video on how I do it and what I use uh, but it's like everything else you, you just have to go bear with me because like I say this is going into paint but I'm going to wait until I can get started on the flatbeds so I can do all the painting together and besides I haven't got no uh, German grey had to order a load so that's on its way now so as soon as that comes I can get everything into paint and get it all sorted out so that is it that's as far as we're, we're going to go with this video because we've, the build is complete I will do updates when I get it all painted and let you see what it looks like when it's all done so that's it I've done a load of photographs I'm going to tag them on to uh, the end of the video just so you can see stages through the build and you can see the detailing and bits and pieces like that so all I can say now is thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill.
all you got? Let's begin, bro. Oh, for sure. Shall we begin? <laughs> 